All right, guys, even here with another video. And in this video, I wanted to talk about Callum Von Moger. And basically, the whole subject of this video is going to be his recent photo uh, of his body. So he transformed his body. He came back, quote unquote, and also his future in classic physics division. So firstly, if you don't know who Callum Von Moger is, you can see on this picture here. So I'm sure you do know. If you follow my channel, if you are here, if you're a fan of bodybuilding, you sure know about Callum Von Moger, no doubt about that. But here you can see how his how muscular he actually was before before he had some injuries. So basically he had two injuries and they both happened in a very short time span. First of all he had this injury when he tried to lift uh, 405 pounds uh, on a bicep curl alongside with uh, Chris Bumstead. So basically he didn't warm up properly and of course this is just a silly thing to do. He is a bodybuilder, competitive bodybuilder. He shouldn't be falling around like this. But, you know, he did it for the gram, bro, <laughs> and for that reason he had a bicep injury. Not too bad of an injury, but he tore it again. He wasn't, you know, resting properly and he basically tore his bicep twice. Then he did some, uh, I don't know, rope climbing, however you call this, and he had a knee injury. So if you look at this video, he was basically going down, down, and then something snapped. And yeah, I don't want to play the audio, so yeah, basically this is how he completely ruined his knee. And after some time, of course, without training, without eating properly and everything, he just lost a lot of size. I mean, he still looked impressive for a regular guy. He still looked lean. He still looked muscular for sure, but not compared to his old shape or his old mass. So, you know, you can see that he wasn't very careful. He didn't really care too much about his bodybuilding career. Most bodybuilders are playing it very, very safe. They don't want to risk injury in any way possible. They don't go out pretty much never. They just stay home, they eat, they stay, they play safe, you know. If, you play, if you're doing bodybuilding, you need to be safe. And he do, he wasn't, so he had those injuries. He, he lost a lot of muscle. And now he posted a new photo. And you can see actually how much muscle he gained again. And uh, I'm pretty confident you can say that he's back. He definitely made a comeback. I mean, look at his body. He, he has everything now. He has a lot of muscle. He has, again, those huge arms. Chest is coming up. He's still not where he used to be before, but he's close. He's close. Muscle memory is an amazing thing. He's going to get there very, very soon. But anyways, let's talk about his potential in classic physics division. I don't know his plans for the future, whether he's gonna compete again or not, but I know that in 2017 he decided to compete in IBB. He is formerly known as NABA competitor, he won Mr. Universe, I think. I think that competition only you can win once or something like that. But yeah, he was a competitor before and uh, he tried to compete in IBB, so he won his first uh, show. Then he decided, I believe, to try to win a pro card in Classic Physique Division and then to qualify for Mr. Olympia 2018. That was his goal, of course. And here you can see him posing at this first show that he won. So he was amazing. He really looked good. And in my opinion, he has some really, really amazing chest, amazing arms, amazing shape and structure. You cannot deny that. But also there is one thing you cannot ignore and that's his back. His back is just very, very shallow, very weak. It looks like he doesn't even, I wouldn't say lift, but deadlift. <laughs> he probably doesn't do deadlifts, but yeah, I'm just joking, who cares? Anyway, his back is not developed enough. Not only his back, but his whole body from this back pose. His quads, his hamstrings, his glutes are just looking shallow. But there is a lot, a lot of room, you know, you can improve that. It's not just like his lats are very high inserted, they're inserted very low. And he has the trapezius, he has the spinal erectors, everything is there. He just needs to work harder, you know. I mean, he got lazy, he gained an amazing body, he has crazy following on Instagram and social media overall. He's a well-known guy and he actually does some acting as well. If you watch the movie Bigger, he did great, played Arnold Schwarzenegger. He has, you know, all the success that he wanted. But he doesn't have complete build. If he wanted to compete successfully, he would need to train much harder. I watched his vlog videos, he's just fooling around in the gym, he's just laughing, you know, having fun. If he wanted to improve, he would need to train much harder, but he has everything else. And I think that would be enough to place very good, because his arms are just overwhelming, his shape, shape, his structure, and all that stuff. He's just, you know, classic all over him. And uh, yeah, if, I mean, look at this pose as well. Just amazing, just amazing details. And he can get shredded, he can get peeled very easily, he has fast metabolism. 
so that's not a problem for him he just needs to come up with his back with his legs um, but definitely back that's the most important thing legs are more or less fine his back is horrible though it's just completely shallow completely weak not not pro worthy definitely not pro worthy so if he focused you know for a year or two he would really be able to make some great progress and come you know and be a very very good competitor here you can see him compared to uh, chris bumstead and first thing that you can see is that he's killing him in the arms department as far as lads he's nowhere near he can improve that you know if he did this pose a little bit differently if he didn't flex his abs maybe did a little vacuum put his chest a little bit up his lats could also look a bit more prominent like at chris but you know he also wants to show his well-developed abs they're looking beautiful beautiful stomach and his quads could be a bit fuller, you know, in the inner part. And so we get to this pose where Chris completely annihilates him. Chris is also not known for great back. Chris's back is also very weak, but compared to Callum, it's, it's superior, much more superior. And, you know, Chris's legs and glutes are also much, much better than, than those of Callum. So for that reason, he wouldn't be top two or top one. He would play great, and I would really, really love to see that. I would really like to see Callum compete in Classic Physique Division. I hope that happens. I really do. And if you guys think so, comment in the section below. Tell me what you think about it. And if you enjoyed the video, like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe. All the best. Bye-bye.